my sister Scrapper. Today I want to share another project with you using some PhotoPlay um, products. Big thank you to Jody from PhotoPlay for sending me these uh, collections. This is super, super cute. So for all of you gnome fans out there, I know that um, PhotoPlay is doing a whole gnome home for the ho gnome for the holidays series. And this is the gnome for the holidays 4th of July. It was designed by Becky Moore. Super, super cute. Um, Again, I love the patriotic theme, the 4th of July. It's just a really, really cute collection. So for my project, I use the 12 by 12 collection, which does give you the sticker sheet as well as the 12 papers. And I also use the um, cardstock ephemera, these right here. I do have a few left. And then um, they also sent me the, which I didn't use them in my project, but I'm gonna use them on some cards. They have a stamp set, I mean, seriously, Look how cute these little dudes are. And there is a matching die. And then when you do get the die, you also get like a card already stamped. So you can just color, practice color, and then stamp your own or whatever. So, but thank you, Jody, for those as well. So here's what I created. I created a little waterfall folio and I did make it a trifold. So it's a trifold waterfall folio. Um, and this is the standard one. I have a YouTube channel or YouTube too. Yeah, obviously I have a YouTube channel because I'm on it right now. Oh my gosh, Lord help me. Um, I have a video tutorial on how to make the waterfall folio and it was from back in I think 2014 or whatever but it's there. So what I did it's like four and a half by eight and a half. Um, I layered up the stickers right here. Again this is a piece of the cardstock ephemera. These cute little guys I they're stickers and I put them out on the black cardstock and then I just in a, in a grouping and then I went ahead and fussy cut around all three of them up to make it one element. I die cut some uh, silver glitter cardstock with some star dies I have in my stash. And then Faith, Family and Freedom is a cute sticker. I put it on black and again fussy cut around it. This is the front, the spine. I used this cute like flag wavy paper and I added another star here. Love the plaid, super cute. And another um, die cut piece right here, Land of the Free. And then here is the other spine. And then I did do a ribbon closure. I didn't, I wanted a wider ribbon and I thought I had some more of the navy blue and white checked, but I didn't. So you know what? I just did um, three layers of blue <laughs> and tied it and added them together. So it's a ribbon closure. So it just unties like this. And you open it up and on the inside front cover, I went ahead and this is one of the die cuts. I popped up the center and put a piece of white back there. It says tradition, so you can put a cute little photo there. Again, some more of that glitter paper I just layered up, up on some black cardstock. Love the cute um, rosette paper, so cute. So then this opens like this and then this is the waterfall spread. So I got waterfalls on both and instead of putting a waterfall in the middle, um, I did something a little bit different, so I'll share that in just a second. So I used a 3x4 journal card for the front right here. There's a magnet closure. It says Happy Fourth, and then you pull this down, and then it says Land That I Love. This is another journal card. The journal cards are darling, absolutely darling. Cute little gnome dude right here, and then you flip it up, and I added strips of the glitter, silver glitter paper in between. So your pictures can go back here. You could add pictures on the front as well. So they're going to be, again, I have got the card here, and then they're red, white, and blue, right? I know. <laughs> Can you love it? <laughs> and then there's the blue star paper, and that wavy paper, and then the back. So that just folds down like that. So you could get um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six if you didn't want to cover up your pa pattern paper, and you could go seven, 13, actually, pictures on this if you want um 12 something like that so there you go so on the other side is the same design with the red white and the blue and i've got these cute little gnomes riding little cute little <laughs> fourth of july rockets so adorable and then this is a cute little card so you can just write write some little journaling thoughts right here memories of your fourth of july picnic or where you where what you did especially this year yeah Okay, so we got some more cute little all-American gnomes right there. And then you just flip it up and it repeats the same. It's the red, the white, and the blue. And I did the stripes, the solid, and then the blue stars. And the silver glitter paper in between. Super, super cute. And then I added this striped paper here that was the same on the outside to the inside. On the center panel, I made a little tiny pocket here. And then I put the little Independence Day 
sticker right here. And then this was a piece of the ephemera. I just stuck it in there. And then this was a piece of ephemera. And I put it on a scrap piece of this paper. This might have been a sticker. Yeah, this was a sticker. And then I layered on the black. I left it plain on the back. Another cute little um, card. I love it. it. Spells out the word home. And then there's the paper on the back with the cute little gnomes having a barbecue. This was a 4 by 6 journal card. I just thought it was adorable, so I just stuck it in my pocket here. And same with this one, the USA. And again, it's got the barbecue gnomes on the back. I made a cute little big giant tag. I actually made two of them. So they're red on this side with the silver, and then they're just white on the back. And then over here, I added, um, this was a sticker, and then I die cut a circle and put it behind it, and then I used it the same die to, to cut out this. And then I've got some little, you could put a picture here and then you could journal here. And that just closes like that. And to keep the little flaps closed, that's what all these little goodies are for. So that's my little trifold waterfall folio that I created with a big thanks to Jody from Photoplay for sending me this collection. It's really, really cute. So check your local scrapbook store for this fabulous cute collection and I know they're coming out with a Halloween, a Thanksgiving, and a Christmas and they do have a summer, a gnome summertime one out where the gnomes are in their little swimsuits at the beach. But this is the gnome for the holidays, 4th of July by Photoplay. So there you have it everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.